Good evening, short story writers. This is number seven in the message in a bottle series of ideas. Just, you know, short story prompts. So, the final one, they're all related because uh, basically there's a container and inside there's a message. And sometimes in the classic message in a bottle, it washes up on the shore. You can see there's a message inside. With the helium balloon idea, which has been released from a fate somewhere. Somebody's written their name and details on a label and it floats. And maybe there's a competition to see how far, who is the farthest away that sends back the label and they maybe win a prize or become pen pals or whatever. But anyway, th this one is um, slightly different. And it, again, I based vaguely on a true story, something I read. Um, so, our protagonist is the kind of person who just goes off to the supermarket, doesn't think about what they're picking up, puts it in the trolley, gets her trolley, the shopping cart, if... Uh, if uh... Yeah, okay, right. Some places in the world call it a shopping cart. Here we call it a shopping trolley. That could be a short story prompt in itself. Confusion over mutual... What was it Oscar Wilde said? Um, two nations divided by a common language or, or something like that. Anyway, sorry. So they get home and well, stuff goes away and then they're opening a can several days, weeks later. And inside, there's not the beans or the peas that they expected, which could be a uh, cause for uh, a story in itself. It, it could be that what's inside is not a message so much as it's the wrong stuff. It's rice pudding or it's, I don't know, they were expecting peas and they got big beans, something like that. that, that you could write a story around that. But what is inside and how it got there is anybody's guess and what the consequences will be. And those consequences are down to you as the writer. But what's inside are several banknotes. Now, are they the banknotes in the denomination of your country? In other words, are they dollars? Are they Korean won? Are they rubles? Are they euros? Are they pounds? Uh... Australia has dollars, New Zealand has dollars, Vietnam has a uh, dong, and there's yuan, yuan in, uh, in, in China, it's yen in Japan, so, you know, whatever. Wherever you are, it's either going to be your currency or it's somebody else's currency. And maybe, 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 it's a money laundering thing. And the wrongful rightful owners in other words the people who stole it are hot on its trail and then the next thing you know there's a knock on the door or it could be the police or the inland revenue or the customs people whatever now obviously it does not have to be banknotes it could be something else of value it could be is it edvard Munch? the scream keeps getting stolen i th i'm not sure that it's on canvas i think it's on board but how about a stolen canvas which has been scrunched up and put in this can Okay, so it could be an item of clothing which belongs to a celebrity <laughs> or something really, 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 really strange. So it, it's up to you what's in the can, but um, I'll leave it up to you how you develop it as well. The literary prompt one would be a matter of honesty. Do I go to the police? Are the police uh, bothered? Do they just say go away? Uh, does your conscience trouble you or do you actually just think yeah let's go and spend this um, science fiction fantasy horror who knows what's inside it could be a map it could be some sort of incantation and of course it could be a map of some kind or a blueprint for spy as in horror uh, not horror um, thriller and action all right, so there you go. Happy writing. I'm taking tomorrow off because 
we got an extra hour in bed and I just feel like having a very sloppy day. And then on Monday, we will be looking at preparing for a national novel. Ah, that's what the NO stands for, not November. <laughs> national Novel Writing Month. Should have known. And um, that begins a week tomorrow on uh, the 1st of November. But we can start preparing. outlines and skeletons and things like that okay so see you on monday happy writing